Hello Libra, welcome to your mid-November 2023 love reading. I hope you're doing well. I've done a bit of a pre-shuffle and what it looks like is um, you could be waiting to see if your person of interest is wanting to give this another chance because we've got the rebirth card here and then we have it's up to them. So what I'm seeing around your person is they see you in a different light. Maybe a lot of time has passed since the two of you were together. A lot has changed. So there's a lot of questioning going on in this person's mind. They're thinking, if I try again with Libra, will things be different this time around? I'm seeing a sexual encounter. So I don't know if that's on the horizon or you've just recently... Um, been intimate with this person and it's kind of reignited the flames of passion. I'm seeing a lot of guilt and regret around what happened in the past. I think on both sides, I'm getting both sides. Um, never quite got over what went down, okay? But now, after I feel time has passed, this person doesn't believe that the two of you are on the same page. I feel like there's been a long time of silence between the two of you. What does the spirit please show me? What does Libra need to see regarding this connection? Yeah, it's like the person has to make a difficult choice. Spirit is saying trust the plan. So maybe just... Let this unfold. A love triangle here, so I don't know if in the past um, that could have happened and that's why there's guilt and regret. Someone interfered in this connection. But trust can be rebuilt here. Trust can be rebuilt. But a lot has happened in the interim. We've got change of heart. I just feel a lot has changed just generally but between the two of you. I feel like there's there's probably been uh, relationships that you've been in that they've been in since the two of you were together. That won't apply to all of you, just some of you. But you're convinced, there's a part of you that is convinced that if this person would just give this connection another chance, it could go all the way. We've got leading to marriage. So at one point, the two of you were very, very serious. Or there was a great potential for, for you know, a long-term relationship. And there was a long time when this person was secretly yearning for you, but I feel that... That's a while back now. Yeah, it changes. We've got sudden change. Yeah, I'm getting twin flame connections for many of you. So it's like the two of you just can't help but to be drawn back to one another. There's this kind of gravity. Um, a lot of karma between the two of you. Karmic lessons. Karmic contracts. This person might be thinking, oh, you know, there's so much water under the bridge with Libra. We're probably just better off friends than lovers. There were games being played um, in the beginning or at some point. They're second guessing about whether like starting again with you would be a good idea. A lot of infatuation between the two of you, a lot of infatuation. It's a strong like magnetic pull between the two of you, but there's a lot of heartbreak as well. This person lacks confidence that this can go the distance. So they have this difficult choice Yeah, they're very undecided is what I'm getting. Okay, let's get more about this person from the tarot. Show me this person's true feelings. 
Yeah, there's some resistance here with the Seven of Wands. And the Spirit, please show me what does Libra need to know about their person of interest in mid-November 2023? What does Libra need to know? Queen of Cups. This person's very um, passive right now. They're not making any moves because they're trying to make sense of their feelings. And they've got a lid on their cup right now, which means they're not decided about the emotional safety of this situation if they were to pursue it. Yeah, we've got the hanged man in the reverse. A lot of caution, a lot of hesitation. This person hasn't yet quite let go of the past, the guilt and the regret about what happened. And the five of wands in the reverse is telling me two things. There's internal conflict with this person, but also um, there could have been a lot of people influencing this situation in the past. Making it more complicated. They don't want drama. They don't want drama. A secret came out. A secret came to light with the High Priestess. Yeah. Three of Swords in the reverse. The two of you have managed to heal most, most of the hurt strong connection between the two of you with that two of cups here show me how does this person really feel towards Libra how does this person really feel towards Libra I felt that the connection was out of balance one person was doing more of the giving, one person wasn't putting in so much effort. Yeah, this it caused a lot of angst. This connection caused a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, a lot of dissatisfaction. We have the Four of Cups next to the Five of Swords. Things ended quite badly. Someone felt rejected, someone felt slighted. Um, someone's ego was very bruised. But it goes beyond that though. It's something really cut deep is what I'm seeing. Show me please spirit, how does this person feel towards Libra? Yeah, unfinished business. Ten of swords in the reverse. Nothing was quite resolved between the two of you. It's like the karmic contract wasn't fulfilled. We have the knight of wands. Lots of passion in this connection, but um, a lot of in and out, hot and cold, off and on type of energy coming here like it's, it's like on again off again this person wants to make a decision once and for all whether to give this one last shot five of wands again this is five of wands please i'm hearing that for some of you this person feels like if they were to give this relationship a chance, they would find it very difficult to compete with some of the people in your life. I keep seeing that five of wands. The three of pentacles in the reverse. There's a lack of compromise. This person doesn't feel like you hear them or you truly understand their reservations. Can you do some straight please show me? What are their reservations about Libra? Page of Wands in the reverse. They feel like you're a little bit fickle and that you might be, you know, wanting to fix things now, but they're worried about things reverting to how they were in the past. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Emptiness. Emotional needs being unable to be met. What are their reservations about Libra, please? What are their reservations about Libra? What are their reservations about Libra? King of Swords. Sometimes you can be a little bit detached. This person might be a little bit more uh, sensitive than you because they're coming out as the Queen of Cups. So, you know, you're more logical, you're more detached. This person's a little bit, I guess, more needy emotionally. Um, there's a lot to overcome between the two of you. The guilt, the regret, the history. Um, 
Whatever happened in the past, the Ten of Wands talks about burdens that need to be released. And, um, you know, I just saw the Ace of Swords. This is about the need for a completely clean slate. But is that possible? Can the two of you achieve a clean slate? They're worried about the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, karma repeating itself, mistakes repeating, cycles repeating, going around and around in circles. And the Emperor, this is about stability, it's about control. There were aspects of this relationship that felt out of this person's control. Let's have a look. What do they want to say to you? I'm going to use uh, this deck. Show me, please, what does this person want to say to Libra in mid November 2023? What does this person want to say to Libra? I'm sorry for the way I acted. What does this person want to say to Libra? I ran away from myself, not you. trying to straighten some things out first. This person's trying to think about whether certain things can be straightened out between the two of you. But they do want you. They don't want you to doubt it. There's a part of them that cannot resist you. They're saying, I love you, but I'm not sure how this is going to change my life. They feel like they would have to sacrifice too much in order to make this work with you. They also feel like there was a part of you that never really saw them as they were, warts and all. They're saying, if you saw me, the real me, would you still love me? But they feel like there's a part of you that um, never got to know them on a deeper level. You know, they're thinking the connection was a little bit superficial. Um, how much does Libra really really know me, appreciate all of me, accept me for who I am. Yeah, see, it's about the two of you being able to heal and overcome old issues. Let's see what else I can get. What does Libra need to know about this person and this connection? We've got solitude. Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and to set a more solid foundation. This person's quite different from how they how you left them. But there's a lot of baggage, as I said, that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Isn't that interesting? Their heart is overflowing so much, so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. So again, a lot of water under the bridge here, but also a lot of unfounded fear. They're afraid to trust and get hurt again. So this is keeping them locked in anxiety and unable to act upon their love. But they're highly tempted by you. What did I say? There's something that you, they find irresistible. And each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as forbidden fruit. They're scared of opening themselves up to dream and plan a future with you. And there's more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's still much more to unfold. Old. Wow, so let's see what's coming up. What can you expect? What is this person's next move towards you? Let's have a look. I'm going to use this deck. Be 
doesn't spirit please show me? Yeah, look, that's coming back around. Eight of Cups in the reverse. What is this person's next move towards Libra, please? What is this person's next move towards Libra? Page of Wands in the reverse, that can be bad news. So something that's hard for you to hear. But don't be too deterred, all right? Don't be too deterred. This person might just be testing to see how much you're willing to fight for this. Yeah, because we have judgment. Second chances. Resurrection. Rebirth. What is this person's next move towards Libra? Again, there's that five of wands. Arguments, conflict, drama. And doesn't spirit please show me. What is this person's next move towards Libra? Yeah, so be prepared um, that this person will say something like there was too much destruction and chaos and drama in this connection for me to want to come back. Six of Wands in the reverse. What did I say to you? This person doesn't feel like they can, can compete with other people and priorities in your life. They felt a little bit neglected or underappreciated. Um, they're going to say something like, I, I didn't see the truth then, but I see you in a different light now. That's what I'm seeing with the hermit in the reverse. The star in the reverse is their lack of hope that things can be healed between the two of you. All right. Um, and knight of pentacles in the reverse, they might say, you know, um, this connection just, there's not enough substance. And it's causing them to doubt the ability for the two of you to turn things around, okay? You are going to hear from them. I'm seeing that with the Page of Pentacles. They might even apologize for things that happened in the past. But this is more like a peace offer offering. Like, I'm willing to be friends with you, but I don't think this person is ready to build anything more is what I'm getting. They, they do want to heal the situation with the Temperance card. Um... I do want to talk with you with the three of pentacles but the nine of pentacles here is telling me that this person doesn't want to get back together as much as the two of you shared so much passion in the past with the lovers we do have the ten of swords here which is a difficult ending It's like this person wants to release themselves from this connection altogether because there's a lack of trust now between the two of you and they don't see it lasting for the long haul, okay? I know this is hard to hear, but it's, it's important for you to know what the cards are saying so you can prepare yourself. They're, they're concerned that there's an inability to build on a solid foundation together um, and it looks like they're trying to manifest a way forward you know to, towards more peaceful relationships and situations all right they're gonna say something like I had no choice but to cut ties and move on and away from this relationship okay um, it, it took a lot of work for them to do that. So that's what I'm being shown. Let's have a look at your advice. Spirit, what is Libra's advice, please? Be 
put a card saying keep communicating until everyone feels as if they've won. Don't stop at compromise because then you'll feel as if you're in sacrifice and everyone will feel as if they're losing. When you're caught up in situations that appear to be going badly, the universe is always on the side of the good. Spirit will always reveal what needs to be revealed and do what needs to be done. So have more faith, right? Don't feel hard done by. Give up the need to be right. Okay. You've got time doesn't heal, but a shift in consciousness does. Right. Interesting. Let's have a look at your crystal spirit message. Spirit, please show me what is the love message for Libra in mid November 2023? What is the love message for Libra? I feel like Rodonite is your message, but we'll have a look and see what Dalmatian Stone is saying. It's talking about the need for you to play and have fun because joyful memories bind us to those we love and you're meant to share laughter with those close to you okay you're being called to simply bring the laughter and fun into your relationships but rod and I, for me it's a lot about forgiveness um and the message is it's about generosity and reciprocity. So all of us has, have gifts to share and a deep longing to be needed. So open up to a partnership that allows both of you to give and receive. Now is a time for you to reach out and take what's freely offered and to recognize the continual flow of reciprocity between you and the people in your life. If you're feeling too enmeshed with someone and wondering where you end and that person begins, spend a little time connecting with Rodonite to re-establish healthy yet fluid boundaries that allow a balance between you and the people you care about. When you're generous yet aware of your worth, giving with a healthy sense of self will attract those who respond in kind. Okay, and I'm just drawn to an animal deck. So let's see what the animals have for you. What's the message for Libra, please, Spirit, in mid-November 2023? What's the message for Libra? Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. Okay, so I hope this reading was helpful, Libra. Do leave me feedback in the comment section below and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.